up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video so in today's video we're going to be wrenching on my 2021 harley davidson road glide and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be adding the santoro fabworks saddlebag crash guard obviously it is helpful to have crash guards on your saddlebags as you know these bikes come from the factory with a crash guard or engine guard but if the bike were to fall over, it's going to save a lot of the damage, but your expensive saddlebags are going to get dinged up. So that's why today we're going to be throwing on a pair of saddlebag crash guards. And I decided to go with Santoro mostly because I just love the look of them. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So I got the box right here. Let's go get these unboxed. All right, Whew. I literally just spent the last 15 to 20 minutes getting these things out of the box, out of the wrapper, out of the shrink wrap. Whoever shrink wrapped these crash bars deserves a raise because these things were wrapped up like no other. So if you order these Santoro Fabworks saddlebag guards, just know you're getting your money's worth in shrink wrap to say the least. But these things look flawless. So let's take a look at them and I'll show you what is included with these bag guards. So as we take a look, we have the right side and left side saddle bag guard. And then comes the bag of hardware as well as your Kakos or Chakos or I don't know, however you pronounce it. These are nice uh, polyurethane, I think they are. At least they feel like it. So we have four in total, obviously two are shorter two are longer. So four big bolts, four bolts, and it looks like four locking nuts. And then obviously some swag, some stickers. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan the barcode just to see exactly uh, how the hardware is used. But obviously one thing that we're definitely gonna have to do is remove our saddlebags and our side covers. That is a definite. So I'm gonna go ahead look at these instructions and get my saddlebags off as well as my side covers and then I'll catch back up with you guys. Alrighty guys, so first things first, as you can see, I got the saddlebags off, I have the side covers off and I forgot to mention, you will need your seat off. So pretty much all we're gonna be removing here is this little tab up here. Um, that's where the top of the saddlebag is gonna go. These are a T45 Torx, and then uh, you're going to be having to cut your saddlebag support down here. And they didn't really say where to cut, but just kind of from looking at their video, I kind of just taped it within here, and I'm probably going to make the cut kind of in the center. And then another T45, and I believe the backside nut was a 9 16th. You're going to have to put a wrench on the backside, and then... That's pretty much it. I'm going to just go ahead, cut both sides right away, and then we'll come remove these tabs and this uh, other support that we're going to be scrapping. And then I will bring my Santoro crash guard over and show you the way that they uh, want their hardware done. So I got my bag supports cut on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead with a T45 and start to take out this spacer. Those you can disregard, they're not gonna be reused. And then like I said, on this side, you'll need a 9 16th for the back side. All right, so I thought I was recording this whole time, but I wasn't. So I went and wiggled this on, started the top small button head. Then I came to the longer button head with the nylon nut, tighten this up about 75% of the way, came up, snug that up a little bit more, came back down, tighten this up all the way, and then tighten this up all the way. So now we're moving on to the Kakos. You get four of them. You get a long one and a slightly shorter one. So using the 3 8 bolts, you're just gonna drop them in. Longer one goes up top, shorter one on the bottom. Get them started by hand. Make sure the threads are working. Get a 
said, literally just drop and wiggle them in. And then before I go too crazy, I'm going to add blue Loctite to these. And then, like I said, a 3 8 hex to tighten them up. Put some blue Loctite on to get my 3 8 hex and drive these babies in. That's all there is to it for this side. Just gotta wipe everything off. And then once we finish the other side, just reinstall the seat, side covers, and saddlebags. So let's get to it on the other side. And let's uh, try to remember to record everything. So first things first on this side, with the T45 Torx, remove this bolt and the spacer. Disregard that. Come down to this other saddlebag support that we cut 9 16th on the back side and the same T45 for the front. And take that off. And you can obviously disregard this. All right, let me go get the bag guard and the hardware. Pull my cover back, kind of wiggle this right on there. And then, like I was saying on the other side, short button head, long button head. Long one goes in the bottom here. Short one goes up top. Let's get that started a couple threads. And then come down, put this nylon nut on the back. Using the 732nd hex and 916th uh, wrench, we are gonna start to tighten the bottom bolt. Like the other side, I got that one about to 75-ish percent. Tighten this one up some more. Come back, finish snugging up this one. Bottom one snugged. Come up and finish the top one off. All right, and now we can go grab our cocos or Keikos and install those. Like I said before, you get a long one and a short one, long one up top, short one on the bottom. Get them started by hand a little bit and I'll throw some Loctite on them. Get my three eighths and drive them the rest of the way in. All right, all snugged up. So what I'm gonna do is, I gotta go in, my hands are a little oily and dirty. Um, I'm gonna wash my hands, come out, throw everything back on the bike, saddlebag, seat, side covers, and uh, kind of wipe everything down. And then uh, we'll do a walk around afterwards. Oh, one other thing, where these connect, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw some electrical tape on, um, just to help keep water out or fiber have to take them off or whatnot what is up guys so welcome back um as you can see in the background i got everything wiped off i got my saddlebags installed side covers installed seat installed so without me blabbing on too much let's go take a look there's my road glide and those santoro fab works not yo daddies Crash bar, bag guards, rather. I always get those confused, but you can see how much they stick out to protect the saddlebags as well as the bike. Very impressed with them. Very super easy installation. Um, sometimes these aftermarket parts can get a little difficult at times because either lack of instructions or you know just parts not fitting correctly all the time but 
I don't think this could have been any easier to be honest with you guys. Um, highly recommend. Like I said before, um, whoever packaged these things with the shrink wrap and everything, they deserve a raise because it literally took me probably longer. If I didn't have to film, it took me by far longer to unwrap the shrink wrap from these bag guards than it took me to install them onto the bike. So that is saying something. Got another quick look of the road glide. All right, so yeah, I am absolutely loving these so far. Um, they don't come in contact with anything, rubbing wise or whatnot. And uh, like I said, these things were packaged perfectly. I ordered these from Get Lowered Cycles. As always, the link to them will be down below in the description. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. You know, if you see this video a year from now, two years from now, whenever, leave a comment, ask me how I like them, um, and I'll be able to update you then. But if you guys made it this far in a video, thank you very much. Make sure to smash that like button, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon, so that way you guys get notified when I post new videos like this one. Make sure to ride safe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace!